Alright guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to add 3D text in, uh, in a, add it to a YouTube background um, using Cinema 4D and Adobe After, or Adobe Photoshop. And I'm, I'm aware that you can actually make 3D text in uh, Photoshop itself, but um, the way you do that is kind of, um, kind of, it, it it gets it out there, it gets it 3D. Um, but you you kind of you're copying um, a 2D text and you're moving it up and to the right or up and to the left or whatever um, around 20 times, and then it makes it look like 3D. But you can kind of tell that it's a uh, it's kind of not. Um, it's uh, you can you can tell it's not as good as it would look uh, this way. So um, I'm just gonna be showing you how to do it this way. It's very easy, um, and it'll definitely make your 3D background or text on your background look a lot better and uh, cleaner. So what you're going to do is open up Cinema 4D and um, go ahead and create a text. And I guess I'll just type in visual and select a nice font. And there we go. And now after that you're going to go ahead and create an extrude nerves and make the text a child of the extrude nerves and I'm actually going to make it a bit thicker than it is make it look a little nicer and um, and also doing it this way you can um, you can do a, a couple different things that you actually wouldn't be able to do in um, in Photoshop so after that I'm gonna go ahead and edit copy edit paste the um, my my text and I'm gonna go ahead and make this around half. Um, we can just drag it down until we see, as you can see on the text, it's going around a, about half. And then we'll drag this into the middle, around the middle, and uh, let go. And if we um, if we were to render this out, it would still look just like a plain all 3D text. So after that, we'll go to caps and start cap. We'll make that a fillet cap, and end cap. We'll make that a fillet cap. And now, if we render, it kind of looks a, a little different, as you can see. So um, here we can create two different colors to make it look a lot uh, nicer. So the first one, I guess, I'll make it uh, a little nice, little blue, and add that to the front text. And then we'll make um, the second one a black. Uh, that kind of look makes it look nice, and maybe add a little reflection to make it look kind of glossy I guess like that and um, if we render this out you won't see the black obviously because of there's nothing in the background so we'll make a uh, sky and we actually you actually have to make a sky for this to work so that it renders it out uh, in a PNG file which we'll get into so now if we render this out as you can see it looks uh, really nice it looks glossy and um, is perfectly 3D. So after you have added your sky, I suggest making getting it to a nice position that'll look nice in the background. And this might this this will be a um, this might take take a few tries, um, like a trial and error type of thing, just to see how you like it best. And I guess I'll make mine like that. And after that, um, after you have your text and uh, colors and everything that you want. Um, we'll go to the render settings and um, for output we'll make this 1280 by 720 and then from 0 to 0 uh, frames because it's just gonna be one frame which is uh, a picture and the save we will say oh, I'm just gonna save mine to my desktop and I'll name it 3d save that and for format, we're going to go ahead and click on the drop down and go to QuickTime PNG. And then after that, go to Options. And where it says Best def Depth, um, we're going to go ahead and change that to Millions of Colors Plus. Not just Millions of Colors, Millions of Colors Plus. Hit OK. And um, before we render this out, we're going to have to make sure that alpha channel right here is checked. And now after that, we can go ahead and render it out. And there we go. Now that it's rendered, you can either close Cinema 4D or just minimize it. I'm just going to minimize it real quick. After that, we'll open up Cinema 4D. And right here, I've just got a, a template opened up. I'm not exactly sure whose it is. But 
Um, so yeah, after that, we're gonna go ahead and hit open, file open in uh, Adobe. Fo I'm using CS3; it'll work for any of them. Um, and now we'll just click on the 3D that we made. And once that opens, we can go ahead and minimize it, or not minimize it, but just make it smaller so we can see both windows. Go ahead and drag this over. And now, as you can see, the 3D text is um, perfectly in here. Um, and if we go ahead and go to um, Edit, Transform, Rotate, and Rotate it. We'll go ahead and just use this negative 90 and there we go now that we have that we can uh, go ahead and hit apply and move it to make 3d text um, and now that'll be on your background you can obviously uh, free transform and make it a lot smaller or whatever do whatever you want with it um, so yeah that's pretty much it guys um, Hope you enjoyed and I hope this helps you out for future uh, backgrounds. Till next time guys, peace.